reigning Intercontinental Champion Braun Breaker might be one of the several WWE superstars to miss out on the promotion's trip to Germany for the Bash in Berlin Premium Live event. As of August 22, Triple H has booked four matches for the PLE, and there seems to be a spot for one more match. However, this one remaining match will most likely not involve Braun Breaker, considering that a tournament to determine his next challenger is set to begin on next week's Raw. This tournament isn't expected to be a one-week affair. This means the fifth match at Bash in Berlin would most likely witness Nia Jax defending her WWE Women's Championship. However, in this article, we will look at three reasons why Braun Breaker should have defended his title in Berlin. 3. Fans want to see Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker is arguably one of WWE's best performers on the main roster. That's one reason why Triple H booked him to beat a veteran like Sami Zayn at SummerSlam. The WWE Universe also seems impressed by the former NXT star's charisma and in ring ability. Breaker's current momentum could have been used to great effect in Germany. Given how the crowds in Europe have responded to WWE superstars in past PLEs, one can only imagine the reaction a breaker match would have received. 2. Fans could have seen one of WWE's biggest babyface, JUSO. JUSO confirmed his participation in the upcoming Intercontinental Championship No. 1 contender tournament this past Monday. Since making this announcement, many believe that the YEET Master will win the tournament and challenge Braun Breaker. If this happens, then it should have ideally taken place at Bash in Berlin. Whenever Jay has traveled to Europe, the crowd has bestowed their love on him. The recent Backlash PLE in France was a perfect example of the same. Hence, by booking an IC title match between Breaker and Jay, the promotion could have delighted the crowd in Berlin. 1. It could have served as a great opening match. The four matches booked for Bash in Berlin all have a story behind them. Even the match between Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens is the tale of two friends facing each other. While a match between Braun Breaker and Jay Uso at Bash in Berlin wouldn't have a story as good as others, it could have been a good opening match. While Breaker is young in his wrestling career, he has already shown great moves in the ring. Jay, on the other hand, is a veteran inside the ring, and together these two individuals could have set the tone for the rest of the night in Berlin. Even though the fifth match for Bash in Berlin has yet to be confirmed, the chances of Braun being involved seem bleak. However, it will be interesting to see if the promotion has a surprise in store. Baron Corbin has worked under Shawn Michaels and Triple H's creative leadership in WWE over the last year. In an exclusive interview, the former United States champion addressed the differences between the two regimes. Triple H replaced his father-in-law Vince McMahon as Raw and SmackDown's creative figurehead in July 2022. Since then, Michaels has been the lead booker of WWE's developmental brand, NXT. Corbin told Sportskeeda Wrestling's senior editor, Bill Apter that the former D-Generation X members shared glaring similarities and also wanted to see very similar things on wrestling shows. I mean, I think the cool thing is they're fairly similar. They both have a similar mind for the show they're trying to create. They want to have action. They want to have car crashes. They want to have dominant superstars. Guys that can hand out beatings and guys that can go. I think that's something that's really amazing, he said. 125 to 145.